The 16th TCI Annual Global Conference will take place in Kolding in the region of southern Denmark between September 3rd and 6th, 2013. TCI 2013 will give a great number of talks on how clusters can innovate through various parts of strategic partnerships. And I've been invited along uh, to try and give my best tips and tricks on how to give a great talk. With this video, we will try to set whole new standards for how conferences can be improved by coaching the speakers. I'm Oli Casso, and uh, I work a lot with presentations. I give about 30 presentations a year, uh, both from very large crowds and also very small crowds. In addition to speaking on topics like social capital and purpose-driven business and bicycle cultures. Um, for the past two years, I've also dabbled with uh, organizing the TEDx conferences, uh, where I've been responsible for curating and coaching the speakers, which is quite interesting because that means uh, I get to get involved with uh, both the very experienced speakers and all the newcomers. I also help organize internal conferences, and what that has taught me is that absolutely everybody can deliver a great talk. It all really boils down to whether you have uh, a great idea, whether you have the passion, and whether you're prepared to practice and practice and practice. So what is Pecha Kucha? Well, Pecha Kucha is a Japanese presentation format. And what it really is, is a PowerPoint presentation on steroids. You're restricted to exactly 20 slides, and each slide takes exactly 20 seconds which means that your presentation will be done and dusted after exactly 6 minutes and 40 seconds. The Petra Kutcher format forces the speaker to be straight and to the point. And the unique benefit of that is that you capture the full attention of the audience, who may even be spellbound of what you're telling them. Petra Kutcher is fast and fun, and you don't even have to use a PowerPoint. You can also bring 20 objects and show them one by one to your audience. You could even bring a bicycle onto the stage. And your story could be something along the lines of Steve Jobs' epiphany from the 80s, that the computer is like the bicycle for the mind. Uh, basically, what he said was that the bicycle is the greatest accelerator developed by man. If you Google Steve Jobs' uh, bicycle for the mind, you'll find it right there. Then keep your images very, very simple. Um, you only have 20 seconds, and the last thing you want to do is distract your audience um, by coming up with a series of confusing statements. Unless, of course, that is your whole point, is to confuse your audience. Tell a story. Like any other good story or fairy tale, it has to have a really good, clear, and catching start. It has to have a good development, and then a good, memorable ending as well. A great acid test for the ending is this. If there's only one thing that you want your audience to remember, what should it be? Um, and that particular one thing, would that lead them to take action on something? Or will it lead them to make a reflection on your talk? Less is more. Just like some of the most powerful TED Talks are some of the short ones, so it goes for Pecha Kucha. You don't want to cram too much information into those 20 seconds you have for each slide. And use the power of the breaks. Leave your audience, maybe, to ponder over one of your slides for a couple of seconds and be astonished about the whole reaction you'll get. Then it's a really good idea to practice your Pecha Kucha skills. Find a good audience. It could be a good friend or it could be a coach. And fine-tune that you get down to exactly 20 seconds per slide. TCI 2013 is trying to set whole new standards for conferences. Wonderful words and expressions like breakout sessions, cluster labs, global coffee, matchmaking, dance cards and cluster tours will be heard during those busy days in September. The organizers even made an equation and it looks like this, the every encounter equation. The first bit is the question mark. Every encounter begins with a question. You speakers should ask an interesting question to the audience. Then the next one is the speech bubble. During your speech, or immediately afterwards, you should make room for a conversation between the participants. And then the exclamation mark. That conversation 
can last 2, 10 or 20 minutes depending on the time schedule. And during those minutes, knowledge will be shared and new ideas will be developed. And the final thing, the hashtags, which the participants will share those ideas and the knowledge on social media by using the hashtag, hashtag TZI2013, will make it easier to find those valuable insights again. TCI 2013, an interactive conference with networking and the sharing of knowledge and ideas that will result in more successful endeavors among clusters around the globe. Let's talk about some good tips and tricks for you to be able to give a great talk. Start with your idea. If you're not absolutely clear about your idea, the audience won't understand your idea and you might even confuse him and you won't actually accomplish anything. Pretend that you're the audience with a thousand priorities and ask the hypothetical question as an audience, why should I care? Once your idea is crystal clear, move on to your script, tell a story and build up your arguments in such a way that you won't lose your audience. Work on the human side of your presentation as well, through your relationship with the audience. I like to use the trust equation, which can be used in many different areas, but I think it's particularly useful when you are giving a talk. It looks like this. It's very simple. If, you are, if there are any mathematical geniuses out there, you probably know what it is. Um, the C stands for credibility. You've, you've got to be credible. People need to definitely believe what you're talking about. The R stands for reliability. So you need to be consistent in your message as well. You need to be reliable. The I stands for intimacy. So it's definitely a good idea that you create some sort of a bond, a linkage with your audience. The S at the bottom is probably the most important thing because you can have the credibility, you can have the reliability, you can build up the intimacy with your audience. But if you have too much self-promotion down at the bottom, then that needs to be divided up with all the other factors and you may actually end up having a lower trust towards your audience. So that's why I always feel that the most important thing is to work on making sure that you're not seen to be someone just promoting yourself uh, or even promoting a product, but try and make sure that you also show a little bit of uh, humility in your talk. Don't read bullet points from a PowerPoint slide. In fact, don't use bullet points at all. In fact, you can learn quite a bit from the Pecha Kutcher and just use images to talk from in your talk. Be yourself, be authentic. By all means, move about, but don't pace back and forth. Practice breaks as well. Breaks are a great way to relate to your audience. Have eye contact as well, but make sure that you don't have extremely long eye contact with one particular person shift between the audience and sometimes just gaze over your audience as well and then make sure your hands are not a distraction uh, if you do feel that it's difficult to place your hands somewhere you can always put a paper clip in one of your hands there is absolutely no substitute for practice make sure you practice a lot and make sure you have the time to practice a lot some people feel they need to practice 20 maybe in 30 or 40 times, but it will pay back. Find a coach or a really good friend and solicit a lot of feedback. That's it. Have a great talk and have a great conference.